YouTube friends, it's Carolyn, your stash sister, and it's time for another video. Time to sit down, get caught up, have a chat, go over new things, and this video is all about the new kitted projects. Holy cow, I have a lot, but that's what makes it so fun. That's what I love. I've decided I love kitting projects more than I love stitching projects. So, and they're two different hobbies. Kitting and collecting needlework supplies is one hobby. Actually, stitching my needlework is another hobby. So, don't get them confused. Many times people will say, oh, I have more stitching than I'll ever stitch. Well, of course you do. We all do. That's what is the fun part about collecting. We collect charts, fabric, Floss, we put them together, we make kits, and then we just really enjoy looking at them, right? And stitching some of them. So don't don't get all hung up on, I have to finish everything I buy, because you're not going to. So just enjoy the process of buying more stuff, because that's what makes us happy. Anyway, lots of stuff to talk about. It's been a whirlwind the last month. Many uh, things have happened. We went, I had summer school and I attended as well as welcoming all the stitchers who came from all over the world. We had stitchers from Australia, from the United Kingdom, uh, from all over the US. I met some fabulous friends, new friends, and floss tubers. I'll talk about that in a little bit. What a great event, what a great time. And then right after that, we took off and went to Portland and saw our grandchildren and our children and that's a that's a whole story so we'll talk about that and then I got busy and I kitted up some fun new princess projects with um, all the silks so we'll talk about that alrighty let's get started first off um, summer school and oh there's a winner 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 chicken dinner for the uh, kit that was so generously provided by the attic so so much going on in this video sit down Grab a cup of whatever your favorite drink is, grab a needle, some thread, and stitch, and let's get caught up. Alrighty, first on the block. Um, last week I introduced a, a little segment called Real Life Real Estate. We're gonna have that again, because I've decided that people need to learn about this process of buying a house. And um, today, we're gonna talk a little bit about appraisals. Now, when you go to sell your house, it's just gonna be really short. If you don't wanna hear this, then skip it. But everybody needs to hear this. When you go to sell your house and you've spent money on yards and you've put in new tile and you redid the kitchen and you just made it really nice and if it's time to sell, you're gonna to wanna to put, you know, you set a price for the house. And then somebody comes in and they make you an offer and they offer you your price for the house and then they're getting a loan. So what they need is an appraisal. So the appraiser's gonna come in and he's gonna give your house a value. And um, if everything goes well, the value is for the purchase price or maybe just a little uh, under and you're gonna save a few thousand dollars and sometimes it's a little over and then you have to decide what you're gonna do. And sometimes, the appraiser comes in way lower, like $15,000 lower. And then you have to decide what you're gonna do. So I found this is a great um, illustration of what it's like to sell your house. This is how you see your house. how your realtor sees your house. This is how the buyer sees your house. And this is how the appraiser sees your house. <laughs> it's the truth. I am not lying to you. Just remember that when you go to sell your house, First of all, hire experienced agent, not your cousin's second son who just got married, who just got out of real estate school. I'm sure eventually he'll be a fabulous realtor. So hire somebody with some experience. 
so you can navigate those those little mountains that you have to go through sometimes when you sell your house. So just remember that there's going to be an appraisal. So listen, listen to your realtor. Okay, on to stitching. Done with that. On to stitching. I have what do I want to show. I have a fully finished project. Look how cute this is. This is called, I think it's called Me and You. It's by La Di Da. I converted it to princess thread, of course. And uh, I found this cute little, this is just a cute little clipboard I found at the Hobby Lobby. So I took my husband with me to Hobby Lobby to find, this is what I wanted. You know, in my head I was like, this is how I want it to look when it's done. And I take him with me and I am I had been there before and I had seen, um, I had seen a little, standy thingy and that's what I'm learning at Hobby Lobby if you're at the Hobby Lobby and you see something that you really like grab it just get it use your 40% off coupon and take it home because the next time you go back you won't be able to see it in fact when you're there and you see something and you walk away from it and go back to it you're not gonna find it again so I'm with my husband and we're walking through the Hobby Lobby he goes oh I saw something like that it's over here and he's walking around he's walking around he's walking around and I said where did you see it he goes I don't know it's somewhere here in in this sea of brown because <laughs> everything right now is brown <laughs> it's somewhere here in this sea of brown he says <laughs> okay well we found something we liked it so that was a fun it was a fun stitch and it was um, nice to have it finished um okay let's talk about summer school summer school everybody's already talked about it and I'm super late to the party just bear with me so oh that's heavy oh. We got a tray. I filled mine up. Look how fun this tray is. And these are all of the projects and the goodies. And these are some new charts I bought. And these are all the, this is all the fun. And look how great this tray is. You can put everything in here. There's a, there's a like a little pocket over here. Oh, give away. You know, I'm not supposed to say that. So I hope a robots don't follow me because I said that. Anyway, so here's our gifts. We got this great ruler. This is by Account Scott Designs. We got this really awesome. It says Reward of Merit Summer School. What a great fob. I love it. Then we got a little stitchy pouch. I love these stitchy pouches. I use them. I use them in my purse. I use them in my stitching bag. I use them for every, I just, I love these stitchy pouches. And then we got this awesome pen. Yeah. And it says the attic. It's red because that's Jean's favorite color is red. And then <laughs> these great notepads. Look at this notepad. It says, good morning. Today I will visit attic needlework that's right number one on the list either go online look at the newsletter give us a call walk in the door today i will isn't that cute and then we'll talk about my purchases in a little bit so that's the front half and then the back half holds all your stitchy wonderfulness really fun you can sit it on your table and I think Jean, Jean will be carrying these in the shop. Okay, I can't put it down. Let's, you know what? I'm just gonna sit here and go through my stuff. So the teachers were Vicki and Megan at Need to Work Press, uh, Linda Daniels from Samplers Remembered. There was uh, Linda Vincent from Needle Made Designs. There was Gloria Moore with Milady's Needle and Tanya Brockmeyer with Scarlet House. So, first of all, our project from Vicki. So how it works is we get a, a sampler that will be released at some point, just not right this minute. And this is the sampler. And it says, our best friends are those who tell us of our faults and teach us how to correct them. That's my husband. Bless his little heart. He puts up with me. 
anyway and then we got this great little tray with the picture of the sampler in the center I think, I think I'm gonna paint mine like paint my trim and then our project for the class was a moment please well it was a I said okay now I can't find them so organized can't find anything. It was a pin drum. And Megan showed us how to finish the pin drum. Here's the start of the pin drum. So it's a cute little size. It's a great little size. And inside it's going to say summer school. And these are the threads. And she's, look at that. Like they think of everything. They have these adorable little kits. And they just think of all the details. And these fun thread rings were a gift from Laura, who has a new floss tube channel. Um, Brenda, it's called Brenda and the Cereal Starter, and it's Brenda Sawicki and Laura Duet, and they are fantastic stitchers. Run over, like, well, watch this one first, and then run over and check them out, and they are wonderful stitchers. And so Laura made these cute little gifties, thread rings, fun for everybody. She was at our table and it was so fun. I love these events because you just get to meet so many new friends. I met and sat at our table. There was Rosalie and Susan and Laura and I'm going around the table in my head. And then my friend Carol, my friend Rhonda, and one more. Oh, I apologize. If you watch the video, just scream at the camera. It was me! But it, you just are such friends by the end of the week. Carol Witchard from Slotbox Stitcher was there. Um, the girl, we call them the Chicago, the Chicago girls were there. That's uh, Laura and Brenda, Kelly. They, and then our friends from Australia came. And it was just like old friend week. Like all of our friends were there. And it was so much fun. So much fun to just sit and laugh and stitch. And anyway, Jean throws a great party. I'll tell you that. Alrighty, I'm just trying to find a place. The second project was, oh, this is so adorable. So this is the sampler, it's called Hannah Heston. You see that little, that little ring right there? It's like a little memorial sampler. And some girls who are finishing their projects, they're using like a ring that was their mother's, a ring that was their dad's, something, a gift that somebody gave them, and they're putting it on their sampler and making it, um, uh, you know personal to them and then okay I'm, I'm gonna show pictures a little slideshow at the end but this you cut out and they're little girls sitting at a tea table and um, I can't wait to get this done and put it in a shadow box I think it'd be so adorable and then see we got everything to do to do it all with so that is gonna be fun then Linda Vincent she did this great it's a purse a squirrel scissor purse and her sampler her sampler is Rachel Wong uh, I think personally I am gonna Linda said there's enough room to put this flower vase on the purse so I'm I'm going for it I'm putting the flower vase on because I'm going to stitch this anyway because it's beautiful and she charted it for princess loss so yeah you don't have to convert it so I'm, I'm there I'm there I'm all about it and then we got this cute project and we were able we covered the box and then it'll be a little holder for our sweet for our sweet little um, purse our purse will like display right in here I love that and I love the box and, then, and we just covered it with washi tape. I love washi tape. I love all the crafts. You should, you should see my office. Craft room. Messy. All right. Next. Next is Gloria. Oh, she did the coolest thing. It is a memory journal. And I, I goofed off in class and didn't make my book. I was chatty and having fun. But 
we, we you're gonna make this book and then she has all the pages and you put all your memories so I've saved my name tag I have pictures on my phone and I'm gonna just make a little scrapbook of that weekend because it was just great but I'm I was at the remedial table and I did I goofed off I didn't get it done then hang on Oh, here's the, here's the here's this. That's our cute little um, uh, drum. So that's what's gonna look like when it's done. Isn't that cute? It's just like the just the right little size. Okay, and then Tanya Brockmeyer from Scarlet House. She did this sampler, and it's on a red mat, and you just kind of lay it out. Uh, I'm afraid to lay stuff out at my house. Maybe it's the 25 years that I spent with teenage boys, but it scares me just to lay things out. I don't have that house where stuff just lays around and doesn't get disgusting. So I, I, I love the idea of the mat and I'm definitely gonna make the mat. I just, maybe I'll have like a, a glass room where all my pretties are that nobody can touch. Just, you could just like a museum. Just look, just look at the pretties, but no touchy. So, here we go, girls. I couldn't help myself. I love this sampler so much, and Tanya did these cute little kits. Cute little kits, a cute little bag, fabric, everything, little tag with a little um, chicken on it. And the fabric is um, by Picture This Plus. I don't know exactly which fabric it is. So when I was in Portland, I went to ne uh, Acorns, Acorns and Threads. I saw my friend Janine, hi Janine. And we had such a good time picking out Princess Plus. Oh, I have to tell you, funniest, funniest memory of that is uh, on Thursday, Thursday before summer, the first session of summer school, two stitchers came from, the, from Oregon and it was um, Kim, Kim Hart and Sel Selby, Linda Selby. Linda Selby and Kim Hart came walking in the attic with tiaras on their head. That was hysterical. I laughed until I cried. It was so funny. That was, thank you girls. That, was, that just made my day. Then they're like, where's your tiara? I'm like, well, I don't wear it to work. Really? But that was so cute. I loved it. Seriously, made my day. So, wait, uh, I'm gonna put this over here. So anyway, I was in Acorns and Threads and Janine and I stood at her silk wall that I fondled and just was going nuts. And I turned that really cute sampler, this really cute, so cute. And I turned it into princess threads. I couldn't help myself. I took a picture of all the threads and I um, sent it to Tanya. I'm like, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Just change it. Anyway, I'm, that's going to be one of my next starts is this Adora Darling sample. How, so those of you who stitch a lot, can you, can somebody help me here? How, how do you get, a, do you just have more time at the end of the day? I, I can't figure it out. I, I want to get stuff done and I want to get stuff started and uh, I don't. Please help me, help me. Get that done. Some starts and some finishes. It's just way more fun to start. Okay, speaking of Portland. <laughs> oh my gosh, my husband. He, so our flight was at 6.05 a.m. Do not put me in charge of timelines before 10 in the morning. I, I just don't function. There's two things I can't, I can't do math after like five or 6 p.m. and don't put me in charge of an early morning schedule. Just, just remember that just know me like my kids used to say when I would have to pick them up somewhere I would call they would call me and I would say I'll be there in 10 minutes 
My Jensen, he says, oh, when mom tells you she's gonna be somewhere, you double it and add 10 minutes. And that's when she'll really be there. I'm like, I'm not that late. They're like, yeah, you are. So we have a 6.05 flight. Here's how my brain works. Oh, all right, we'll get up at four. And Garrett will come pick us up at 4.45. And then we'll get to the airport and we'll have plenty of time. We'll check in, it'll be early in the morning. Nobody will be at the airport, it'll be great. So that was our schedule. We got up at four. I thought, oh, I have time, I'll wash my hair. Uh, Garrett got there at 4.45, we left the house. Uh, the laughter five. Is anybody else seeing the problem here? So we drive to the airport, no hurry. I mean, Garrett's a really fast driver anyway, so I knew we'd make good time. So we get to the airport and we're unloading our bags. I happen to look at my watch as we're taking the bags out of the trunk. It is 5.30. I said, jump, we gotta go. We're gonna miss our flight. So we go running in and we go to the Southwest thing where you have to press all the buttons and, and we're trying to check our luggage. It's like, warning, warning, warning. You are checking in late. Your luggage will not make it to your destination. Do you still want to check your bags? Oh, sure, it'll be fine. So we, we uh, get the bags and uh, get the tags. We run up to the lady in the thing and she's like, okay, well, you know, they're boardy. That's okay, well, we can run fast. So we, um, I'm like, it's, it's six in the morning. Who travels at six in the morning, 5.30 in the morning? Like in my world, 5.30 comes once a day and it's not a.m. So I just can't imagine that there would be lots of, and it's a Saturday morning. I mean, who's up at 5.30 on Saturday morning? Not me. So uh, we go, we run, we, we get through. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, 5.30, it'll take us 10 minutes to get through, secu 10 minutes to get through security. Hmm. We'll be fine, it'll be fine. So we get to security. It's a stop. Like, it's like, why is it going so slow? Oh no, now we might miss our flight. So it's just, they have one person. They have one person checking the license. You know how they put the little flashlight? There's one person checking all of that. Well, you know, it is what it is. Here I am, I'm at the airport, I'm in security, we're gonna be late. It's all my fault, because don't put me in charge of the schedule before 10 a.m. So we get through security, and uh, it's some um, five minutes to six on our flight. You know, the flight's like boarding, boarding. So the airport like seems empty once you get in security. And Jeff left his phone behind because he forgot to take it off his hip, and and you know that that whole thing. Like you have to get like, why you have to take your shoes off, and you have to take add a sweater on, you have to take your sweater on, and you have to get, you know take all the things out of the things. Da, 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 da. I obviously don't travel enough. So we get everything put back together. And I said, run, run to the gate. So he starts running because <clears throat> we can see the gate. Fortunately, at Sky Harbor, there's like gates. And then there's like this escalator that goes on for three blocks. And then there's more gates. So fortunately, our gate was close by. And he goes running to the gate. And he stops and turns around to make sure I'm coming. And I have flip-flops on. First of all, don't wear flip-flops. I have flip-flops on. And I'm like, run. So he runs to the gate and they're opening the door to let us on the plane. We're the last two people on the plane. And we got in, we got sat down, and that's when we realized he realized he's my phone. And he goes like this to get up, and this the flight attendant behind him puts her on his shoulder. She's like, You're not getting off this plane. He's like, But my phone. He goes, You're gonna just have to deal with it when you get to Portland. You're not getting off this plane. That was getting to Portland. So don't, don't, okay, lesson, takes longer than 10 minutes to get through security, and don't put Caroline in charge of the early morning schedule. It was great to be there that early, we got there that day, and my granddaughter had planned a crafting day all day, she loves to craft, and it was great that we got there that early, but just somebody else be in charge of the early morning schedule. We should have left the house at four, not woke up at four. <laughs> anyway. That was getting to Portland. We had a great time. It was fun. I went to Acorns and Threads. Oh, next. Oh, our last summer school. Whoa, that was like a huge left turn into Crazy Town, wasn't it? All right, next project. So 
summer school was Nancy at Five Times Plus. You know my friend that does the awesome buttons. You've seen me show it and on my channel. And she also does, uh, she also has an Etsy channel. Her name is Nancy and it's Five Times Blessed. And she did this. I'm going to keep this just like this because it's so cute. There's these super cute primitive scissors. We covered this box and here's what, it, here's what this does. It's the little twine box. So I'm gonna try and find some black and white uh, baker's, baker's twine that I think would look really cute coming out of here. But I'm leaving it just like this with the bow and everything on it because it's so cute. And look at the little tag, summer school, 2019. Really cute. What am I? I just, I just, I just love a tchotchke. Don't you? Can you tell behind me? I love a tchotchke. All righty. I'm all worn out after telling that airport story. So I did have a finish, a little tiny finish. This this pattern came in to the shop. It's so adorable. It's by Heart um, Heart and Hand. It says, my soul is fed with needle and thread. I did stitch it with uh, call for cotton threads. I do stitch with cotton occasionally. And look how cute it turned out. This um, up here is a cute little button from Nancy at Five Times Blessed. That was a cute little antique button, and I thought that would be really sweet on there. So I'm gonna make it into a, some kind of a pin cushion. But that was really, that, that was a fun little stitch and it went together really quickly. And this is a 36 count, I believe. So, 36 count something. All right. Then, oh, okay, so for years I've had this, this uh, I've had this kit, kitted up, but I've been afraid to start because I cut the fabric before I knew how big I would need the fabric, but I just bit the bullet and I got it started. I love this shirt. I don't know if I'll ever finish it, but I did start it, so I'm feeling like that's a win. So tell, tell me what's wrong with this picture, friends. Top. Bottom. I have exactly three quarters of an inch to the top. To the bottom. But I love it on this fabric. This is a fabric, it's close to Lakeside and Metaru. It back, 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 back years ago when 46 cat linen first started being dyed by Lakeside. It was this color of autumn gold, vintage autumn gold. Um, excuse me. But now this color is more like Metaru. And seriously, oh. I have to show you because I spent a fortune, seriously, a fortune, years ago, I've had it in my stash on the silks. So I just had to get it started. So we have a conversion. Oh. I love it so I love it so much. I'm so glad that I bit the bullet and I'm doing it in silk because it's going to be a lifetime project. I hope not, but let's be real here. And um, it's so enjoyable. So I think my what I'd like to do is there's this awesome there's this awesome flower motif right here. I don't even know what side I'm on. Somewhere. There's this flower motif right here. Um, that's I want to get to that. So I'm stitching the deer, and then I think I'm over here on this side. I'm stitching the deer, then I'm gonna stitch the flower, and then I'm gonna come around, and I'm gonna stitch uh, up here and do the do some of this fun down here, and then I'm gonna make sure my border matches. But uh, those of you who say, "Oh, I can't stitch on less than three inch margins," yes, you can. I wouldn't recommend three quarters of an inch. I'm probably gonna um, 
But I took it to Sandy at the attic and she said, sure, she can frame it. She'll just put a piece of, you know, she'll just put a piece of fabric up at the top. And I may do that as I'm stitching, but I did zigzag. I did zigzag along the bottom because I was getting really nervous. But it fit. So I am off. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it work. It's a make it work moment. That's what that is. And then the other thing I kitted up, but I haven't started yet. This month is all about the kits, the silks, and new projects that I want to do. I wanted to do this since it came out. This is English Garden. There's a few. Um, Lisa over at Kindred Stitcher is stitching this one. It's gorgeous. Every time she shows a project progress picture, I'm like, oh, I gotta get that put together. So this month I did, I did a. So this is Tundra. I think that's what she's stitching it with. She's stitching it with Tundra. Because I was there when she bought it. I'm like, oh, I need that too. Yes. And these are the silks. Oh. So I'm excited to start that. And you know what else this would look really pretty on? You know, Weeks, um, Weeks Dye Works is now dyeing Zweigart based fabric. For those of you who don't know, I will share. Um, when you are stitching with a fabric and your selvage has this pretty little orange thread through the selvage, that tells you that this fabric is a Zweigart based fabric, which means it's um, milled and put together in Ireland. It's beautiful, great quality. If you stitch a lot with things like um, platinum linen and vintage country mocha linen, those are all Zweigart based fabrics. So Lakeside, they that's their base that they use and then they she does these beautiful dyes. So um, Weeks has started dyeing. They're 36, 40, 46, and 56. I'll have, I'm, I'm gonna have a project on that in my next video. Count linen and there's a beautiful Confederate gray. Oh, this piece would be this this would be beautiful and it calls for I think she put it on tin roof and she's dying tin roof in this beautiful Zweigart base so yay look look for that at your needlework store the weeks Zweigart base and I know the attic has um, a great selection so that's English garden I am excited to get that started and then I fell in love with this sampler. It's a new release. It's a new release from Fox and Rabbit. Margaret McNown's 1828. And I love, I love the colored alphabet. I love this down here, which I think is like practice stitches. You know, um, specialty stitches, I love that and this cute vase at the bottom. So, this is a piece of linen by Crosswing Collection. We have some in the shop. I think this one's called Sandstone, and then they also have one called Earth, which is equally beautiful. And I, princess thread! I converted it to silk. Look at that red greens, the blue, two reds. This is like a raspberry red and then a red red. Let's see if I flip that around. So I can't wait to get this one started. I think it's beautiful. And I love the colors. I love the blues and the reds and they just seem really bright and happy. And I love their designs. I love as a design company, they're, they really have some fun things. Okay, what's in my board? I'm working on a gifty, so I can't show that. But I'm also working on... Elizabeth Hunter. Sorry. Elizabeth Hunter by the Scarlet House.
and look. So I made a little base right here because in my head, I think that I want to turn this into, um, so in Elizabeth's chart, if you look at the initials, if you study the initials, it looks like a family record. It looks like uh, mom and dad and all the children and maybe some grandchildren, I don't know, but it looks like that. So I got inspired to turn this into a family marking sampler. Now, we still have more grandchildren coming down the line, so this I just figured, you know, this is just gonna be like a moment in time, like a snapshot of where our family is when I was stitching this. So um, this is all initials in here, and I don't, um, so I did a little face stitch so that I would be the right, so I would leave the right amount of space. I don't always trust my counting, and I figured, well, that's just a nice way for me to know, and I think if, I think there's one more row, yeah, there's one more row underneath it, so I'll do another baste, and then that'll, you know, that'll get me going. And um, I haven't decided if I'm going to, uh, chart it or I'm just gonna start stitching the initials and we'll just go and see how it works so I'll, I'll keep you posted on that I'm kind of excited for it to be a little family record of where we are you know when I'm stitching this but I'm loving it and I'm loving I'm loving the conversion so when we have this conversion at the shop And it's really enjoyable to work on. I, I've never stitched anything with all, all the like little rainbow alphabets. And I kind of like it. I just think it makes it so pretty and colorful. All right. So that's what's there. Okay. Purchases. In addition to kitting up all those silk projects, I did get some patterns. It's, mag it's magazine time. The Christmas ornament issue is out. Run, go get it. Even if you only, st I mean, it's $9.99. And I've heard people say, oh, you know, they don't have anything there. Like, are you kidding? Even if you only stitch one ornament out of this magazine, it's paid for itself because you're going to pay at least $9.99 for an ornament chart. So go, run, go get this one. This is fun. And then this is the latest issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. Um, this makes me want to punch stitch. Every time I get one of these, I want to do punch needle. But if I punch needle, that means that's time I'm not spending cross stitching. So how do you do both? Share with me, please. Share with me how, how you decide where, which, which child do you love the most? I mean, you love it, you love it all. And I, you know, cross stitching, punch needling. I really want to learn punch needling. So those are out, and you may have already gotten yours, but if you haven't, run, go get one. And then, I just love this designer. This is um, Abby Rose, Abby Rose Designs. That's a, her little um, Thanksgiving one. I love those little colors. I think it's really cute. It's called Thankful Hearts. And then, the next one is, Hang on, I forgot to take these out of the bag, and I I don't like glare, so bear with me. This is from My Big Toe. This is not a new design. This was put out a while ago, and um, there's a hymn that is sung. Somebody was in the shop. We were chatting about this design, and she said that the first time she ever heard it, it was two men singing a duo, a duet, and it was just beautiful, and then... Um, my favorite version is sung by the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. You can YouTube it. And uh, the story behind this verse is a gentleman, his family, he was a successful businessman in Chicago and he sent his wife and four children to England and their ship sank during their voyage, the ship sank and the all four children were lost at sea and the wife um, he got a message from his wife and it said survived alone so he took the journey to go be with her and when he got to the spot where the ship sank he wrote this verse so <clears throat> I love this verse 
so um, the when I saw this, when I was browsing, um, I saw this and I had Jean get it for me. It says, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. That's going to be in Princess Floss and that's going to be stitched because that is definitely going on the list. So, anyway, whew, that's another left turn. We're just left turning all the play, all, all the all the different ways around here. So, whew, I got through everything on the table, and I uh, Thursday at the shop we had the opportunity to meet um, Gary from Sunshine Stitchers, and we took a picture with me and Jean and him, and and now he's part of the Desert Rat Stitchers. So the, um, I'll, I'll insert that so you can see that the Sunshine Stitcher is now a Desert Rat Stitcher. And that was really fun to, um, to see him. You know, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to meet visitors. Tourist season is starting to ramp, the ramp up. So visitors come from all over and it's so wonderful to meet them. And the weather is changing. It's gonna be gorgeous soon. And you know how I know? My husband is my barometer. When he gets allergies and he starts coughing and wheezing he can't breathe he can't sleep i'm like Woo we're gonna have beautiful weather in two weeks again at the time that his allergies started acting up but i mean it's still a hundred and probably be a hundred and four hundred and five today but he's he's miserable with allergies so um two weeks from now it's gonna be gorgeous so thank you dear for sacrificing your health to let me know we're gonna have good weather and so that's that's where we are today. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, I almost forgot. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This um, this is our wonderful little um, princess silk, it's princess, princess kit by Chessie and me. The winner is Kim Garrett. And do you know what she said her favorite? She is a spring princess stitcher. So here you go, spring princess. Here is your gift. I've uh, left you a note on YouTube, and if you could reach out to me, either DM me on Instagram at Stash Sisters01, or leave a message on the YouTube, um, I will get you your kit. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out and listening to the video and being a part of my day. Thank you for letting me be a part of your day. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell. That, and there's a little, it says subscribe and then there's a little bell and you just click on that and that will let you know every time there's a video up. So thank you all. Thank you for being part of my day. Thank you for your kind comments. I will, P.S. I almost forgot to tell you my next video is gonna be a field trip. I'm gonna go visit somebody and you're gonna all love it. So just keep that in mind. All right, bye-bye.